Warning, this is experimental. It's inspired by Void Linux in its scripts and will replace your FreeBSD init and RC. Do not apply to a working FreeBSD system unless you know what you're doing. Right, this is a viewer request video and he wanted me to install and set up Run It Faster, which is an alternative Void Linux inspired init system that replaces the one already in FreeBSD. Why you want to do this, I have no idea, but we'll do it. And I'm only going to give you the basics. I'll show you how to install it, configure it, and also set up some systems to run at boot. Right, so you first will put Runs VDIR Enable in your rc.conf and then we'll start the service now we're going to edit the bootloader conf and what we're going to do now is tell the system to use the run it faster rather than the default so it's telling you the init path is the user local spin run it and then init Without this, it'll use the default system. So with this, it'll use the now installed run it faster one. Once that's done, we're just going to root. Yes, I could use do as, but this is going to be really infuriating if I to keep typing my password. So I'm just going to make some uh, symbolic links uh, so the system can find the, uh, the configuration and startup files. Now, all of this, I will link uh, to the web page it came from, and um, you can read at leisure uh, the instructions that they give you. But for now, I'm just going to fast forward this, and so we get to the uh, next part, because it does take a while for me to type out. Next, we're just going to pass on the host name so the uh, the run it in its scripts can find it. Settings from the rc.conf, which is the usual uh, source of any uh, services, won't be used if you run it if you're using run it faster. The host name has to be set either via run it run it dot host name in the kernel environment or by creating a USR local etc run it host name. So that's what we're going to do now, and that's it. We will reboot. And if you watch the boot up messages, you can actually see it's now using the uh, run it. But the thing is, unless we actually explicitly tell it which kernel modules uh, to be loaded, it won't load any up. And as you can see there, it says uh, runs run SV change directory default is now current. So if we log in, change to root and make a couple of more symbolic links. Now you need to do this if you want any cron services uh, also to be run at start. And then reboot again. There's a lot of faffing about. So I'll log in. Oh, I've misspelled my name. So I'll log in again. Spelling it correctly this time. And try start X. It won't work because we haven't explicitly told it to load in the NVIDIA and the Linux uh, kernel modules. So if we enter SU. And we type sysrc kld list. It will show all the ones that are available in the traditional sense and the ones that we need to load up. So it's got Linux, NVIDIA, NVIDIA mode, send fuse. So if we edit uh, the user or USR local etc run it modules file and just enter in the ones that we saw in his uh, KLD list which is Linux, NVIDIA, video mode and fuse because we're running run it faster the new init system we need a new way to restart the system or to reboot the system in this case it is run it hyphen init 6 so loading up now, we should have all the uh, the required modules already loaded so we can start X and get a nice uh, GUI going. So we'll just log in. Never mind the, uh, the, the white text that comes up, that's just my keyboard and mouse uh, acting all funky. So we're typing start X now, and yes, there we go. Uh, it's obviously booted into the wrong uh, desktop environment, but that's fine. So I take it it no longer uses the uh, .x in the RC, but there we go. There's the basic uh, run it faster uh, init system for FreeBSD. As I say, it's experimental. 
and you really shouldn't be using this on a um, production machine or any machine that you value the information on because there's a chance that you might not like the results. But uh, to the, the viewer who wanted it to uh, be demonstrated, this is how you do it. If I was you, I'd just stick to the normal FreeBSD in its system. It's, it's a lot safer. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Well done if you've made it to the end of the video, and if you've found it useful in any way, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to make sure you don't miss future videos, then please click the subscribe button and the notification bell. This helps the channel grow so that I can keep on making content that helps the FreeBSD community grow as well. Yeah.